One thing to know about using Model Chamfer is that you need to make sure that the tool that you have defined in Mastercam exactly matches the tool that you're using in real life. Um, otherwise, the chamfers will not come out the way that you expect them to. Um, you actually, it's the same thing that happens with the 2D chamfer um, method. You have to have that tool uh, set exactly, otherwise the chamfer doesn't come out correctly. Um, cut parameters are very simple. Um, we just set a chamfer width, so this is our edge break or chamfer or what we want. So it's getting in there, doing all that milling. And again, we didn't really have to do anything. We just ran the program. So we're getting really nice cutting motion out of this. Now, while this isn't super dynamic, um, what's nice is that because it's using area mill, we can actually just go in there and change it to dynamic if we want to. Uh, it all depends on how you want to run your process. But this is great because with really minimal effort, we've now created a program that's going to mill out this part. It's gonna do a pretty good job of it.